it's been a hot minute, folks. Uh, and speaking of hot minutes, it is cranking at the moment. I'm heading up to the usual spot. Luke's over there. So is young Rog. Rog the bush dog. Uh, yeah, we're heading up and going to have a crack at, uh, at some reds. Um, but yeah, it's piping hot. Yesterday I got up to 33 uh, in town. And I mean, we're already in our mid-twenties now, so we're just about to begin the ascent. But um, we're getting up there with plenty of time, so I think the focus is get up there, get in the shade and chill for a few hours before we uh, we push on. But hopefully, um, have a crack at it. Give us a wave, mate. <laughs> you can check out uh, uh, Luke and... Rog on Rog the Bush Dog uh, on Instagram. You check out Rog's training. But yeah, hopefully he's gonna do us some big favours up the hill. The um the tax man always collects, eh, bro? Yeah, bro. And uh, and the, ta the tax we're paying today is in sweat. Whew, she's warm. And uh warm makes for tough climbing. So he's just doing his best to sniff it out. It's keeping him pretty well occupied at the moment. We just hit camp. Uh, Luke and I got set up. There's um, Luke set up there. And I'm tucked away over in the bush over there. Uh, bit of a grunt today, bro. Pretty spent, eh, man? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, uh, oh, let's, oh, no, Luke, let's see we go. Fucking uh, sun's pretty warm. Sure is. Yeah, it was a warm old walk up the hill. Um, yeah, feeling a bit rinsed, to be honest. It's definitely the toughest one I've done for a while. Uh, that heat is making a difference, but yeah, probably a, a loss of condition over the Christmas period as well. Well, a loss of hill condition, a gain of belly condition, I think. <laughs> so, a few beers and plenty of ham. Yeah, I'd have dinner. You're not wrong there. Yeah, so... Um, but we actually met up here. My first encounter with Luke was, um, I don't know, probably about 2k from here, eh? Yeah. Yeah. And, um, and I was charging up on a bit of a mish. Uh, and, um, yeah, bumped into Luke and he had his other dog here, uh, Indy. Yeah. The old girl. Yeah. And, um, and so sort of, we were heading in generally the same direction. And I mean, and respectfully, it was like, you could have just followed me there. So I was just like, hey, we're going the same way, bro. Let's walk. So we cruised over and got the VIP tour of. Yeah, save me some. Put your tent in. Uh, to be fair, I wouldn't have, I wouldn't have found this. Yeah, yeah. The camp site there, yeah. <laughs> put, uh, put your tent here. Yeah. And now uh, me and Cam are going to go all the way over there. <laughs> and uh, yeah, you do what you need, bro. Yeah. So um, yeah, so it's quiet. It's quite, this is our second trip up here. We went up here just before Christmas as well, so it's um it's pretty cool to sort of turn that around and into um, a couple of trips up here. Yeah. We've also been doing a little bit of um, walking in the Port Hills together during the week. Not not recently. Not the tell from the <laughs> yeah. coming up. <laughs> yeah, not, much, not recently, but um, we need to get back into that. Yeah. Oh, I definitely need to get back into that. I'm a little bit embarrassed. Same. Same but, um, but yeah, so, no, it's... That's pretty cool, man. So yeah, we, we're up here. We've got about um, three hours to spare before we really even need to think about doing anything. So tents are set up. Uh, there's a little bit of a cool breeze, so I'm even considering going have a bit of a nap. I was just going to say the same thing. I'm, I'm pretty pleased it's, it's a bit longer than a power nap that we managed to squeeze yeah, in. Yeah, so, have a siesta and then go give it a crack when um, when that sun gets down a little bit, because I don't imagine much is out there doing anything at the moment, eh? If I was a deer, I would be tucked up. Yeah. In a nice, shady, breezy spot. 
Yeah, well, I, I think they've got it right. I might live nowhere. I might go do something similar. <laughs> but yeah, so hang in there with us. First one for a while, first one for 2023. So this is uh, hopefully is a goodie. Does your sleeping bag slip on your mat? Welcome to Walk Before You Hunt voiceover time because I forgot to turn on the receiver. So yeah, my sleeping bag slips on my uh, sleeping mat. It's a really good sleeping mat. I, I don't want to replace it. It's just uh, I end up sliding off it all the time during the night. Uh, so what I've done is I've taken my cotton sleeping bag line and run it over the top. Uh, you can see I'm handily pointing that out. I just didn't record the sound for it. Um, but the, the sleeping bag, uh, the sleeping liner uh, just sort of makes everything less slippery. And then for a pillow, I would just run a dry bag with my spare clothes in it. I always run that dry bag with just some bits and pieces in it. Um, socks, undies, the likes, some thermals maybe. So and that's how I run my um, sleeping setup now, and it's actually really comfortable. Uh, There's probably a better way of doing it, get a sheet or something like that. Uh, cheaper than a cotton sleeping bag liner. And the old tent was just a fly and ground mat arrangement, which was actually really comfortable in the heat. So yeah, it's... Uh it's about six o'clock now, we're going to make our way out to uh, where we're going tonight. Um, might have noticed this thing on my back. It's not a 70 pound bow. Nah, uh, with, the, with the plans we're making today, it was decided that I'd leave the bow at home and cart extra water up. And boy oh boy, we're going for that, <laughs> that happened. Because man, we've tuned some water today. But yeah, we're just going to rock out now and, and have a crack. Luke's very kindly offered me to have a shot, so I'm, I'm excited for what could be. Um, and yeah, watch, watch the dog's going to get us onto it, so. Whew, how are you feeling, bro? Give me packs for the walk out tomorrow, mate. Yeah. No more. Yeah. Well, there won't be any water left in them, I'll tell you that for free. <laughs> right, go on, boy, let's go. The um, wind has picked up a fair bit earlier uh, than predicted, so it's making a well, yeah. Who knows what it's making it, but um, I mean it's still pretty early days, so there's nothing really up and about. Yeah. I have seen on days like this. And I mean, if you've been watching the rest of the videos on the YouTube channel, you would have seen too that you can quite often get them over there in these conditions. But I think our next plan is to rock it up over, over to there and have a little look back. Um, there's also a bit more shade in the next basin, so there's potentially an option there. We just kick it back here, getting started. It's breezy. Oh mate, Rogers um is loving it. This is his first real crack. And uh, he's Luke's done a lot of training with him, so hopefully that's uh, that's gonna come through for us tonight. Or tomorrow morning. We'll see where it goes. The weather forecast for tomorrow morning is not real good. So we're going to make a plan around what we're going to do there. But um, we'll go from there and we'll work that out. Sorry, I just lost track of my microphone. I think it's under my beard. <laughs> um, yeah, so we'll just have to decide what we're going to do. Uh, but a sweet little nap earlier. Boy, oh boy, it was good. The, um, it's just hot dry at the moment. And this wind is sort of cutting through, so... But yeah, we'll get up and have a bit more of a look. Yeah? You would swear there's never been a deer here ever, eh? Yeah, man. She's, um, she's barren. Yeah, absolutely. It's an incredible change yeah. from six weeks ago when we were last here. Oh, look at that.
It's a falcon. Oh, that horrible job of that. Native falcon. Good thing I'm not employed to be a wildlife photographer because that was just horrible. <laughs> uh, yeah, you man. Yeah, vast change from six weeks ago, eh? Uh, so yeah, so Luke, Luke's been doing some uh, extracurricular education on, on deer hunting. And, uh, books. books are, uh, are pretty handy, eh? Generally written by people who care enough about a topic to write yeah. and publish a book about it. And um, so the, the thoughts going on up here on this windy hill are, well, they're obviously not here. So perhaps they're in the broadleaf and, and the better tucker down the bottom of the hill. It is. Well, this grass has gone to seed. I mean, there is new growth coming up underneath it, but. Yeah. If I was a deer, I'd be looking for the farmer's paddocks that aren't too far away, where all the uh, seeds been grazed off. Yeah, it's uh, yeah, I'll tell you one thing about all the seed, or grass seed, is I am rapidly <laughs> becoming allergic to the outdoors, <laughs> which is embarrassing. So. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah, I have. I have antihistamines in my bag exclusively for this because I know it's an issue. I, uh, yeah. But yeah, so we've checked out all the usual haunts, bar one. Uh, we might duck down the hill and see if there's any deer grazing over there, but I'm, I'm not confident. The where we're going is where you always see deer, but it's also just into the wind. I don't... Um, oh, good, eh, boy? That, that oh, forecast oh. has come through a lot sooner than it looked, and uh, the winds are, are growing yeah. all through the night and to, to gale force tomorrow morning, you know, so... Yeah, so... We'll push on, see if we can... Yeah. Turn the negative into a positive. Yep. Yeah. Play it for what it is now. You can only piss with the dick you've got. <laughs> and then, um, yeah, maybe have a sleep in in the morning, have a listen to the trees and see what she's doing first thing. And, but yeah, make the most of tonight. Yep, absolutely. <clears throat> well, morning. Our, uh, our morning plan's got blown out. She's uh, ripping through over where we were yesterday, so probably... I don't know, another 10-15 k's on what we had uh, yesterday afternoon, which was obviously windy, so <clears throat> we're just cruising our way out and um, getting a couple of side missions in. Um, we, one of the problems with this area <clears throat> is there's no water up here, uh, no like easily drinkable water, so we're just tracking up a valley, chasing down a, a a water source potentially there's a spring or something up here so uh, that would make this place a hundred percent more palatable because it's just kilos you don't have to haul up the hill um and you, you can stay longer periods right like that's yeah, yeah. probably one of the bonuses so. but yeah so <clears throat> just making our way up i like your suggestion about chopping around the jilling rig to get a um a nice fresh bore yeah <clears throat> yeah i did that was First up this morning, mm. as I put the last litre of water that I have into my camelback was, let's get a drill rig up here and just punch a well into this. Chuck that next door to the, um, to the pub. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Ah, oh, yeah. Yeah, man, dry this morning. It was a long, hot day yesterday, eh? Um, so we are just making our way up through this. Uh, hopefully, finding out the source of that. I mean, I don't hold super high hopes, but some water would be nice. And Roger's just here. He's had a good whiff this morning. He, um, he picked up something back there, eh? He's found, I think, every deer bone in the uh, campsite that was left lying around there, so. Yeah. It's going all right. It's only a young pup, but he's coming on. He'll get there. Yeah, so anyway, we'll keep ticking on. And then it's top of the hill and make some decisions about uh, our escape from there.
Right oh. Uh, so we're obviously not up the hill anymore. Um, and that was probably a haircut ago, at least. Um, <laughs> it's been it's been a hot minute since that. Yeah, uh, warm couple of days, bro. And uh, to be fair, the weather is much different in Canterbury now. Uh, we've been trying to catch up for a, a bit of a wander up the hills and and then some training as well during the week. But um, life keeps sort of getting in the way, doesn't it? Does it, mate? So, um, but yeah, uh, I think Luke's been slamming the training real hard, and I have not been. So, I suspect uh, I suspect our next outing is going to be uh, a real puff fest for me, bro. I think <laughs> I think you're starting to get the jump for me pretty good now. Watch this spacer up. Yeah, yeah. But um, as always, bro, it's meant to get up hunting with you. Um, Luke's made a couple of changes to his setup, so next time up there, bro, we'll be. Uh, There'll be Hot Vin, shots. Vinny in the fridge, mate. Yeah, look, and we're coming into that exciting time of year where they start telling you where they are too. So, mm. yeah, bro, I'm always keen to um, get up there and uh, spend spend some time hunting up there with you and Rog. Absolutely. Oh, I, he's, he's coming on too, man. He's going well. Yeah, yeah you tell me his training's going good. It is, yeah. I took, took the young fella up, um, back up, up there um, a couple of weeks ago and uh, took us on to took us on to, a, on to a deer and onto a plenty of sign, but the... Um, Scope decided to fall apart on me right at the um, moment of untickled out of the scabbard, so um, we couldn't actually see anything, and the deer walked away to, to live another mm. day. So, but anyway, um, after that, after we we got into the deer, he, he took us straight on some really fresh sign. Um, he he take, took quite, quite a lot of enjoyment out of scoffing a few of those um, fresh <laughs> fresh, um, <laughs> fresh mountain raisins. Yeah. So yeah, um, no, watch his space. He should be. Just just gone twelve months, so he's at the point now. Um, we're gonna start shooting over him. So nice, just nice. a matter of time. Yeah, bro. Well, always cool, bro. And um, yeah, yeah. Well, I'll have to, I'll have to play my part and do this training as well. Mm -hmm. Get my shit sorted, I Make suppose. Make it happen. Yeah, yeah. I'll leave my training till days before the the next hunt, I suppose. Yep. But yeah. Until the next time, folks. Uh, do all the YouTube things if you feel like it. Otherwise, we'll see you soon. We've got some. Um, Content coming up. Adios. What's that? My trophy in the shot if you want. That's my trophy. Oh. That one on the wall there. Oh. That was the one that I, I think I told you I stalked right in on it. Oh, like, yeah. yeah. So. Didn't, didn't shoot him. That was my first time out with a bow. I was getting goats and this was shooting me earlier. So.